So when you run a Wilcoxon signed rank test in SPSS, the default display is quite minimal. However, it can be expanded to provide more detail. Before that though, let's work through this hypothesis test summary table. So here we can see that a related samples Wilcoxon signed rank test was run, and the null hypothesis for this test was that the median of differences between the before and after rankings is equal to zero. So in other words, that GM ingredients were ranked the same at both points in time. Now we're in a position where we can reject this null hypothesis because the significance level for the test is less than alpha, which has been set at 0.05 by default. So double click on the summary table to open up the model viewer. Now the graph at the top here is a bit misleading and so we'll skip over it. But in the legend to the side, it's interesting to note that six people ranked the GM ingredients as less important after the lecture, 22 ranked them as more important after the lecture, and the remaining 12 gave the same ranking at both points in time. In the table below, we have the information that we need for the write-up. Most specifically, we've got the test statistic, which we usually denote with an italicised capital T, the standardised test statistic, which is represented with an italicised lowercase z, and the significance level, which is 0 0.001. So you could write up the findings like this. A Wilcoxon signed rank test indicated that, on average, participants ranked GM ingredients higher in importance after attending the lecture than they did before. You should also indicate the number of positive and negative differences and the number of ties somewhere, in addition to the median rank for both sets of scores. Those median ranks can be derived from the Explore option under Descriptive Statistics in the Analyze menu, which is here. And finally, you should report an effect size, and information about how to do this is provided in StatHand.